Oh my god, it, feel, it's the president. Is, I feel can, very you think o- I can? I feel very official right now. You think we can shake hands with her? I'm scared. Huh? You try ah. Uh. TheSmartLocal.com Hi guys, welcome to another episode of TSL Vlogs. I'm Q. And I'm John. And today we're here at Redbox for another volunteering session. Basically, this entire week is for youth volunteers to actually come down to spread awareness and volunteer for events such as like befriending elderly and also people with special needs. Yes, so we actually took part in a workshop, I think about a month back, where we got to learn how to better communicate with people with special needs. I honestly think it was quite fun. Um, I was expecting like a theory-based workshop, but we actually had like little activities where we interacted with everyone. I think we managed to learn quite a bit, so I'm hoping to I'll be able to apply some of the skills right. that I learned mm. today. I heard that today there's actually a very special guest. Mm. You know who it is? Oh I oh I know who it is. Tell them who it is! It's the president of Singapore. <laughs> She's gonna be here. Oh my god. I guess we're quite nervous about it, even though we don't have to speak to her, right? Like honestly, who would have thought that I would be given the opportunity to like be in the same place as the president? I'm actually very, very stressed out. And I heard one of the youth volunteers, right? He's going to be interviewing her. You might be speaking to him also, right? <laughs> yeah, well, okay. my, my, my palms are getting sweaty, just take care about it. Okay, anyway, she's going to be arriving real soon, so we better go get ready. So the opening ceremony just ended and now we are going to start doing the various activities and James is actually over James. all the way over at Sungai Bulok where he's going, he to, he's going to be taking part in this activity called Nurture in Nature. So we're going to cut over to James right now and I'm going to do the news reporter thing because it's my dream. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> this is Q. Over to James at Sungai Bulok. Take it away James. Alright, thanks Q. So I'm reporting live from Sungai Bulo Wetland Reserve and it is literally a wetland over here because it is raining so heavily. So far it's pretty good. We're just gonna stay in the shelter and do some ice breaking games and get to know each other. So I'll get back to you with another weather update in a few minutes time. Okay, it seems like the rain has stopped and the lightning race warning has been lifted. So we're gonna go to the trail now. I it's an awesome trail for you guys. <laughs> Okay, so just now the chill was back on, right? And now it's raining terribly! Oh my god! Okay, so it's raining again, and we are going back to the shelter! Okay, this sounded like the rain. I know, right? This is the whole time. So the activity that we're going to be taking part in today is called Art Abilities. Can you yeah. tell them what it's about? Okay, so Art Abilities is actually like a little event for you to volunteer and spend time with the people with special needs. So they're actually kind of like expressing their creativity and you know, uh, they're actually painting on a piece of paper and sticking it on a little like drawstring bag. Yeah. Which they can actually bring home later. So yeah. art good or not? Terrible, that's right. Well, I am an art student. I used to be an art student. Uh-huh. I want to show that off. So later you can see me painting really well. Please. John is being um, an artist. Real art. This is a this is a big <laughs> hunt. Hi guys, this is Zaki. Uh, can you please tell us a bit more about yourself? I'm actually a youth call volunteer since 2015. So what actually got you started in volunteering? I think back when I was in Polytechnic, you know, I really wanted to find an avenue where I could spend my time diligently instead of just mugging and studying, you know, and just give back to the society. You know. Right after I joined Youth Call Singapore, I was part of the ambassador's team. So I managed to you know, do MC. And through these things, right, I gained the opportunity to be able to develop myself, not just as a volunteer, but more of, you know, a public speaker. Yeah. So did you ever think that it would lead up to you one day interviewing wow. the president? Wow, uh, I think uh, it, it has never crossed my mind at all. <laughs> you know, I started, I was thinking how I wanted to do the interview. So I thought, I wanted to make it more conversational, like what we are doing right now. She was very approachable, right? So mm. I think whatever questions that you, you, you 
propose to her, right, she will answer it like from the bottom of her heart. And I think because of that, I managed to not make it like an interview, but more like a conversation with the president. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How do you actually feel about being uh, the patron for us? I feel strongly that our youth really have a lot to contribute. Because the most important contribution that they can make, and they know it for themselves, which they have been doing, is uh, in helping to shape the kind of future they want to inherit. Okay. Because it's their future, it's their destiny. So it's important that they have a say in terms of the policy, implementation of programs. So I think I have a lot of faith, and I'm sure that uh, this will be a very good collaboration between the President's Office and the Youth Corp. Okay, so we come to the end of today's activities. Uh, how do you find the whole experience? I think it was very, very interesting to see the president here up <laughs> yeah, front. Yeah, she was like one meter away. Hey, but she to... comes off like like any other Singaporean, which is which right, is quite quite right. cool. Very relatable. Yeah. So when she was talking about like volunteering, it, it, it sounded very sincere. When it came down to the activities, right, I think it was quite fun also because we were like painting with people with special needs, seeing them enjoy and being so happy about you know just such a simple thing right it was very heartwarming for me yeah the, the the biggest takeaway for this whole experience right is the fact that you get to meet a lot of these other youth volunteers right. and you see that when you actually get to talk to them you realize that everybody is from all different walks of life some of them are like 16 year old students yeah uh, some of them are like working in banks and stuff like that it's very interesting to see that people are still taking time out of whatever they're doing and using it to volunteer and like kind of give back in a sense which i'm really really like proud of lah to say that there are so many singaporeans that are doing this yeah in fact this this particular session alone, right? For this event, the, the response was so good that they actually had to change the numbers. They have more volunteers now and even more activities planned. Honestly, it, it just feels like you can just take an afternoon off or like a morning off just to you know go and contribute to the society. Thank you YCS for making this video possible. If you guys want to know more about volunteering, you can actually check out the links in the description box below. For more videos, you can check out there. Yeah. <laughs> and remember to like, share, and subscribe. Yes. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Back to you, James. Back to you.